Hello guys. Good morning, good evening, whatever time it is at your place. So I um, want to talk about my life when I was younger. Um, as a little girl, as a teenager, as a young adult, and where I am today. So I'm just going to jump right into it. Um, this video kind of scares me. I've been wanting to make it for a while, but um, I believe that it's going to break a lot of um, relationships, relationships that I've already mended or fixed, you know. Um, and anyway, like I said, I'm just going to jump right into it. I did little stick figures to let you guys know. This is my mom, and she is wow. This is my mom's half-brother. I won't mention any names. If it comes out, it comes out. Um, this is my sister, my oldest sister. Some of you know her, some of you don't. This will be me as a little girl and as a teenager. I'm going to talk about me as a little girl. I was six years old. My sister was eight. Um, my mom's half-brother was staying with us. And around that time, I remember he had really long hair. And we would sit. I was going to show you the couch, but I'll just show you on the chair. We would sit up here with our legs over his um, neck, his shoulders. We would fix his hair. He had really long hair. Um, anyway... I'm going to cut really short and we would go, we're going to go to a night where he, I know he was high. Um, he was cooking in the kitchen and he kept going from the kitchen to our bedroom where my sister and I were sharing a twin size bed. Um, again, six and eight years old, we would sleep in my dad's t-shirts um, in just an underwear. We're little, little girls, just the underwear and a long shirt. Um, sorry, I'm having a hard time focusing on the camera, but, um, we, um, were asleep and he, I was on the edge of the bed and he came in and he had uncovered me and pulled my shirt all the way up to the top of my neck, like, you know, all the way up. And he had pulled my underwear down to my ankles. And I remember waking up kind of like cold and thinking like, what in the world did I do? My underwear's down to my ankles. Didn't think anything of it. You know, I'm only six years old. But this is something that, you know, when they say uh, rape kind of messes you up in the head, it does. Um, uh, I have forgave him. I forgave myself. I forgave my mom. Um, but I know that some of you might think, well, you, you obviously did. And for you to be bothered by it and still be talking about it. Um, I feel like I have to make this video for others, not for myself. And because this may be a family secret of theirs, I'm a grown woman now. So I feel like I'm not going to not talk about it. Um, the more I talk about it, the more I set myself free. So I am definitely going to talk about it. Um, not go in my grave with that secret, a secret that doesn't belong to me. But in a way, it does if I don't let it out. Anyway, um, so I pulled my underwear up and I pulled my shirt down. Well, before I can fall asleep, he came back and did the same thing. So I pretended to be startled, like, you know, you woke me up. So he left. At that point, before he was able to come back again, that's that's my grandson. Um, Zeta, what's the matter, baby? Before I can... Before we could come back and do it again, I jumped over and now my granddaughter's awake. Hi, baby. Hi. What? Oh, I don't know if I'll be able to finish this video. I didn't want to make it too long, so. Hi, pretty girl. <laughs> mm, I love you so much. Anyway, um, so I jumped over on the other side of my sister where she had wrapped herself in the blanket um, like a burrito, she would roll in it. So I, I had a hard time. I remember having a hard time pulling her out of that to get myself in there. Therefore, I pushed her to the edge. He came over. He couldn't tell the difference between us. We were the same height, same weight. This video might not go the way it was planned. 
So anyway, um, he came back and did the same thing to her. But he actually went a little further with her. I'm not going to go into detail because that's her, her secret, her problem, you know. Um, but it is what happened that day to me as well. So she said that she needed to use the restroom and he let her get up. Um, I don't remember him coming back to me or anything. Um, but she locked herself in the restroom and in the morning my father couldn't get in to use the restroom to go to work. Um, cause he would leave like five, six o'clock in the morning. I don't know what time, super early. Well, I remember having a hard time sleeping that night and I woke up early and I went into the restroom while I was banging. I'm like, let me in. It's me. So she opened the door and she had, my mom had a, like a linen shelf in there. We'd have a linen closet, but I remember there was linen in that restroom and she pulled some towels and stuff and put them in the tub. And that's where she slept that night. Maybe I've said too much already on her behalf. Um, I probably have said already too much and it might get people really mad at me for doing this, but I'm okay with that. I'm, I'm in a state of mind and place, um, that it's okay if I lose people. I, I, I'm anyway. So in the morning, that morning we woke up. Um, I remember that we, I held her, she held me. We talked a little bit and we told my mom, we went and told my mom that it's trash day we went and tried to talk to my mom and we told her you know that um this had happened and i remember she was angry but she's told us for us not to ever say that again you don't speak of that and um she told us how it was our fault um she mentioned how we would sit up there and do that basically would we're putting our private part right in his face kind of thing I was like, oh, okay. Um, anyway, as an adult, I um, was told by my mom's, okay, my mom had a male cousin who married this lady and she had two kids. Um, as an adult, the younger kid, um, I'm not going to say any names, he told me that they had put him in the closet, which faced our bed. The incident happened here. There's a doorway here. There's a dining room here um, and a closet here. He was facing this way and his brother was sitting on a chair over here facing that direction. But they put him in there to basically witness what was going on. Um, anyway, so I'm at like seven minutes. I wanted to keep about ten minutes. So, all of this that's left, there's still more over here. I've got my cousin on my dad's side, my mom's sister, uh, and my mom's uh, sister's son. But, anyway, um, and my sister. My sister comes in another play over here. But, that's that. I'm not going to say any more on that story other than... Um, <clears throat> It messes kids up in the head. It really does. But um, I feel in my behalf, eventually, it meant something more. Um, I had to um, use that in my mind for many other reasons now in my future. You know, like, um, it helps me protect my granddaughter. Um, it helped me protect my daughters. Um, all kinds of stuff, you know. I have taught myself how to be strong in my mind. Um, I've spoken to a lot of little girls, not little little girls, but younger than me, teenagers, about stuff that has happened to them. Um, and they open up so much because I was able to share what has ha already happened to me. That's just how I feel. Maybe not. Um, I don't know. I don't know how this video will go. And depending on how much reaction gets, this video gets, I will continue my story. I'll probably still continue it no matter what. Uh, my biggest fear is that um, the people that I kind of put that in the past, you know, I, I don't talk about it, especially to them, because people have been offended about stuff that I've mentioned. Um, I've tried to talk to my dad about 
you know, my past, and he's like, no, I don't want to, don't want to know about that, so, um, anyway, I'm at 10 minutes, and I'm gonna get off, because my granddaughter's hungry, my grandson is, son is sleepy, um, if you want to know more about this story, or what the other stick figures mean, like, my cousin, and, anyway, I guess give me uh, likes. That'll let me know that you guys are wanting to know more about this. Um, yeah. I guess before I end it, I'm going to mention a little bit because of what had Why? happened then as a child. I became a troubled teenager. Um, Mom. I started uh, doing drugs. I, I was never yeah. able to let go of that. Jade. Uh, I was never able to let go of that as a child, obviously. And it continued as a teenager. But somewhere along the line, I I prayed. I prayed to God. And Anyway, I'm just going to stop there. You guys let me know with your thumbs up or likes or subscribes. Um, and thanks for watching. Love you guys so much, and I love my babies, my my grandbabies more, so I gotta go tell them I love you so much. So much. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Love you, bye.